Jasmine aka at that curly top and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time and today we are going to have a panty party sorry if you hate that word I don't clearly I think it's a really fun word and we should reclaim that and I have some sustainable brands that I just truly love and I'm going to do an honest review on all of them today and just a quick note I did ask all of them for discounts a portion of the discounts don't go towards me but I want to be able to provide you with a discount because I know some of these can be a little pricey and it can be a little bit intimidating to purchase so I just wanted to help and all of these brands that I'm recommending these are just current brands that I own at the moment but there have been other brands that I've tried or want to try so I'll recommend some more brands at the very end um, just for you to just have some feelers out for some other brands that are out there but let's just start with the ones that I have Okay, so first up I have Hara. I have their Maya Low Waist Undies. These ones are $35 a pair and all of their underwear are priced at the same price and I know it's kind of high, but they do have some pack options for all of their different products. These are made with 90% lysol bamboo and 10% spandex. And not only is it made with organic bamboo fabric, but they also have natural plant dyes to ensure top quality and avoid any chemicals getting absorbed into your skin. Which I think is really cool because I feel like a lot of brands don't normally do that. So I think it's really cool that they really take the measures to just make everything as natural as possible. And the fit of these are so soft. Also, just so you guys know, I bought this green suit to show off um, all the underwear. So I don't want to get flagged for any nudity on here. And also I just don't feel comfortable just like showing my body on the internet because there's a lot of weirdos out there. So enjoy this green suit. They're so cozy. The material of this really is so high quality. You can just tell that it's gonna last you for a really long time. And also it's so soft and buttery on my skin. And it gives like a really nice stretch to it. Like I'm in between like a small and a medium and then these are a little snug on me. But because it gives it some stretch, I don't feel too uncomfortable in them. But I do think if I purchase these next time, I probably would get a medium. But a lot of their stuff does stretch out. So I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but I've been loving these. <laughs> Also, my butt looks so good in them. Look at that. And some extra notes about them. They are inclusive and have a size range between extra small to 5XL. I love their transparency and how intentional they are about their entire process. You could go check out their website and it just breaks down everything from like their supply chain to where they're sourcing um, all their materials from. And I just think that's really dope. And they've also teamed up with the Environmental Justice Foundation to support their environmental projects, especially surrounding pesticides and chemicals and the production of cotton, which I would look up because that is a huge issue right now. And also something for you to know is that since it's supernatural, you have to hand wash it. I did start throwing them into my wash by accident and I haven't had any incidents, but I've heard other people have incidents with Hara stuff that it was like bleeding into their other clothes. So that's just something for you to know before you end up purchasing. And next we have Parade. And I have the Parade replay briefs. This was actually a part of their special neon collection. So it's not currently available on their site, but they do have other briefs that are similar to the same shape as this one. This pair was $13, but they do have a price range of $8 to $14 a pair, which most of their packs are $34 for a pack of six. But it does vary on their different campaigns that they're releasing. So I would just check on that. But I think it's a pretty good deal. They're made with 85% recycled nylon and 15% spandex. And most of the products are recycled plastic fibers. And I'd honestly be interested to try out their new carbon neutral indies to see what that feels like and what that's all about. I do wish they had like more natural materials but I do think that this is really sick too. And this fit is also really comfortable. Also very very buttery and it's interesting because it's like the last pair of underwear I was describing. You can feel the difference between natural and like plastic but this is like I don't know it's, it feels almost like silk. That's the best way I can describe it and it feels really <laughs> nice as well. Like this little mesh front panel. I just think it's like a fun detail. It doesn't really bug me. And I like the way that they shape my hips. Like I look I look pretty dang hot in these. Let me tell you, like I feel real hot when I'm wearing parade. Um, my only concern is that I did have a pair, a couple pairs that already like broke down in the first month that I had them. These ones I've had for a few months now and they've been fine, but I did have a few that just like ripped and like torn in the first month and I was really sad about them because I really liked them. I feel like that's where like, that's what you kind of pay for when you pay for something cheaper that like the quality isn't as high, but I think it's a really good pair if you are looking for a more affordable option. And some extra notes about them. They are also size inclusive. They go from extra small to 3XL. 1% of their profits goes towards Planned Parenthood and they're all about sex education, which I think our generation really needs. And the only thing I'm just kind of like sus about is just like how many 
production lines that they come out. I feel like they are constantly turning and burning a ton of different lines of them, but I do think that they reuse like their different materials for different lines and they just package them up differently for different marketing purposes. So I'm not sure, but that's the only thing I'm like feeling kind of uncomfortable about. So I just kind of take that with a grain of salt. But like I said, I think this is a really good option if you're looking for a fun, inclusive, and colorful option. Okay, so next I have Jonesy, and I'm actually gonna talk about Jonesy for a little while right now because I have a few of their different style options here, and I think they're actually my favorite of the brands. So each one of these are also priced differently, so it'll range from like $20 to $30, and they do have some packs of three from $67 to $78. They're all made with about 95% Modal and 5% Elastane. And Modal, if you don't know what it is, is a semi-synthetic fiber made from reconstituted fibers. It is biodegradable and sourced from renewable plants like bamboo and beech trees. So the first style I'm going to talk about are their thongs because I'm the person who absolutely loathes thongs because I just hate the feeling of like having something like right up my butt all day. For some reason, this thong doesn't feel uncomfortable to me like it, it like sits really properly i love this little scallop detail on it i think it's just really fun the fabric again it's really high quality so i just feel like it's really soft and i that's something i noticed with all the other styles so i'll move on their high cut undies and these ones i've had the longest i bought this for myself october 2019 feel when i say i look hot i look like step kiss i feel so so hot. They're my favorite pair of underwear. I love the way that they shape my legs and my hips. Have the scallop detail too. Speaking of high-waisted undies, I do also have their high-waisted pair. Um, and I think because of this pair is a funky color, it doesn't feel frumpy and I also feel like it just kind of sucks and tucks everything. So I feel really confident in these. Um, yeah, but in just all of these, I feel like you could just really feel the quality and I think it's really worth it. And next I have a pair from Proclaim. So these are their Tencel High Waist Brief in Maya Nude. It costs $33 for this pair, but all their underwear ranges from either $29 or $33. They don't have any pack options at the moment. I hope they change in the future because I think that these are just such amazing underwear. And it's 90% Tencel and 10% Spanex. And Tencel is a fiber that is produced from wood pulp from sustainably managed sources. And this fit is really nice as well. What I like about them is that Proclaim is one of the pioneers in expanding on like what nude means. That like it doesn't have to be this peachy undertone, but it could be this. And this tensile fabric is so good. And I know I keep talking about how buttery all the fabrics are, but this one is like, this is literal butter. They are like also like a little snug on the front. I don't know, I feel like it fits me perfectly other than like my little area down here. And some extra notes about Proclaim is that they are women of color owned, which is so cool. And by the way, all the brands that I've mentioned are women owned, which is a huge problem in the industry because a lot of underwear brands tend to be owned by white old men, which just pisses me off. So power to the women. And they're also made ethically and you can check out all their stuff on their page. And they are also size inclusive and go up to 3XL. And lastly, we have Nikki. So this pair was $13. I believe all their pairs of underwear are also priced the same. And it's $60 for a pack, which includes all five styles. But if you wanted the same style, I don't see that they currently have a pack for that. And it's made with 95% certified organic cotton and 5% elastane. But yes, but this one is really nice. I love that it's also a natural option, but it's so soft as the tensile ones that I just mentioned, but it is really breathable still. So I don't feel like I'm suffocating in them. I feel like a grandma on them, but they're also just really cozy. So I would be curious to try their other styles because I feel like this and like a low waist brief would be really nice. But for what I know, it's still really comfortable, really breathable. And this one doesn't feel as tight in like my crotch area uh, compared to the last pair, so. Highly recommend. <laughs> and some things to note about Nikki. They have this really cool first pair guarantee where if you are a Nikki newbie, you can try on your first pair of each style risk-free and you can exchange to a different size or style with no questions asked. They're not as inclusive in sizing compared to the other ones because this one only goes up to a size XL, but they do have like a range of nude colors like I mentioned before. But what I think is really special and so cool about them is that they have a recycling program where they partner with a local New York City nonprofit to safely recycle your intimates and divert them from landfills. And they'll take care of it and recycle it and turn it into really cool things, which you can see here. And this is only a service that's offered in the US. So if you're outside of the US, unfortunately, that's not possible at the moment. But I think it's really cool and it's worth checking out. <laughs> Okay, and so for some honorable mentions that I didn't mention in the video, packed booty, 
Nausea, Organic Basics, and Girlfriend Collective. Hopefully that helps you if you need some more recs beyond the ones that I mentioned. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that this helps. If you have any more questions, let me know and leave them down in the comment box below. And if you want to see more videos recommending other sustainable products, make sure to subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you want to see. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.